So I could host Greek Baptist Church when I was called or sang in what they call the male chorus. It was saying I'd be on the song I'll go where you want me to go. Do what you want me to do. I teach tithes and stewardship, not love offering. Love offering is what it says, love offering. The Lord set up a way to take care of his church. It's a giving, it's a love, and that's what I was called to preach. I knew it was. I keep saying it, honey. I don't worry about what man says. I know one thing that God gave me this ministry. And it's his ministry. I prayed this morning thanking him. I thank him all the time. We do things for the others. That's the ministry. And that's what I'm called to do, to do for others. Now I'm not doing for others. I may not lack me, I may not lack me. But I ain't what I'm here for lack. I'm here for love. You hear me? You know what I said? Not lack. Lack ain't much. You lack me this morning and hate me tonight. But I said love. Love is what that Bible said. Suffer it long. Huh? Corinthians? Born it not itself, huh? It's not what? Puffed up. Hello? Well, I live down on East 4th Street. Along with what y'all don't know anything about them, but they call them shotgun houses. I think of Labor Day. I got one of my trucks. That's the company if I can use it. So, take the truck back, and all of a sudden, I got a call and said, uh, so and so, my name's been such. You can't live here. I said, beg your pardon? Uh, you heard me and said that word. Uh, you can't live here. Uh, so what keeps me from living here? Because you know, you're black. You can't live here. I, well, I'm going to live here. So it migrated. Street full of white folk, just packed full of white folk. She come over and went right in front of my house and cursing and gone and their bad things and one nigga man and all of you white men can't make him move. I take it all I could. I had my little daughter, she was a baby at that time. And my wife was sitting in the living room, the house had her living room. We were sitting there, so I said to my house, Macy, I think I've had all this up in him. I can't have no more. The Lord won't see about me. I'm going to fix it. I prayed. And I got my rifle. And went in the next room. And raised the window about so high. And shot out that window. The city officials had a meeting downtown at the bank. Talk coming by on big boys, these business folk. I went down and met with them. Sit there and listen to them. I said, Awesome, don't you think you need to move so we can have some peace? I said, I got peace. I ain't got nothing to nobody. I just bought a house. I ain't got nothing to nobody. Well, you're giving all that trouble. I'm not giving no trouble. That's my house. 
I work every day, and you mean I can't buy a house? So they yam yam around, and one of the big boys, he said, well, I think if you sold it, you'd have peace and go on about your way. I told you once, I'm going to tell you again. I'm not going to sell it. And that's the end of that statement, y'all. You got it? So he says to them, fine. You heard what this nigga said. So this meeting have a join. When I came to St. John, it was a red brick building, pretty. But the yard was being bad fixed. You couldn't hardly park there. It was muddy. Next door to this church, south of it. I had a member who owned that property. He sold the topsoil off of it. And uh, they dug a hole out and left it there. The Father of the Lord fixed it for me. Uh, it came up for auction downtown. I got some brothers and it came up for auction. Went down there and we bought it. I had a problem getting somebody after I got it to get dirt put in. And finally the Lord blessed me when they started fixing the airport over here, paying out all the runways. One day a man called me and said, Brother Preacher, I'm saying you need some dirt. That's what I need all I can get. He said, well, I'm having to haul this at a distance, but you like to have all this runway stuff. I said, sure, as much as I can take. So he started to bring it. So I had problems getting somebody to push it back. But down the road, I had met a white boy down there, and he had some big heavy equipment. All the friends of his, and in the process, I had married him and his wife. So I went down and asked him if he'd come up and push the dirt back for me. So he said, well, for the past time, I'll tell you what, I'm going so much every day when I push back on just occasion, but not all the time. So anyway, he started pushing it, and it got kind of complex. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just leave my boy little sitting up here. I don't want to drive it up here. Let the people bring the dirt in here. Today. And it was all the brain in here back to back. The drag line. And he kept the push back and you see that lot, the level out there. I'm just not a preacher man. I'm a giving man. God called preacher. I love him. He let me pastor this church 40 years. 